hello guys welcome back to my channel happy start of the week so we're going to start this week and i'm going to dedicate this to do a few of the tarot readings for the birthday people for the airy season so these uh these tarot readings are going to be very general for to celebrate that uh, our Aries idols, females and males, uh, that they are having their birthday in this period of uh, of the month, of the year. So to celebrate them, I'm going to be uh, dedicating a very general reading for each one of them to see the energies that they have available for themselves. Of course, that I I will try to do it before they have their birthday or near their birthday um some i will be i think if i remember i will be able to to be like or record the same day that they're having the their birthday celebrated but you know if it doesn't match the date you know it's every season so <laughs> so you know you you understand what i mean uh, so today is going to be dedicated to uh, got seven member and artist uh, Jackson Wang. Uh, let's remember a bit his energy. He is an Aries sun with a moon in Libra. So yes, um, actually Jackson had been. He's pretty popular. He had been uh, uh, named um, summoned in my comment section a lot. So I, I appreciate the support for Jackson, you know, and I hope that this reading, uh, can reach to a lot of his fans. I know he has a lot of them. So welcome everyone. Um, so let's, uh, see the cards that he got, uh, the ace of wands, the 10 of swords, the 10 of cups, the three of pentacles and the world, you know, the world, it's a very funny, uh, it's a, it's not a funny card it's funny that actually i have done a lot of personal readings pick a card readings card of the day um i have pulled a lot of cards uh, for different people and situations and th the world card keeps coming out in all of them so definitely the world card is like a sort of like uh, a message for the community for everyone you know that a cycle it's ending guys and we are entering a new one so uh we should celebrate this you know the world card is about completion you know it's about you know the end of the cycle but not in a sad or in a depressing kind of way you know like oh this is ending it's more like okay this cycle is done we completed it we went through everything so yes now let's start all over you know let keep let's keep moving this is why it's called the world because the world keeps turning you know in and so we need to keep moving you know it doesn't matter if things seem like they they don't change or that it seems like it takes forever for us to get what we want to the card of the world is is talking to all of us that maybe we as a society or we as humans we had completed uh, a period of something you know and that somehow that era is going to end and we are going to enter a new one a brand new one so let's hope for the best guys uh so let's uh let's uh, focus on jackson's energy so uh, starting off with the with the ace of wands this wouldn't be an aries tarot reading uh, or a tarot reading for an aries if the, it wasn't the one the, the the ace of wands here standing i think that definitely he's also uh he's also healing a lot of things you know he's also he got a lot of tense also that talk about completion as well so i think that it has to do with him standing uh standing up by, him, by himself or on his own you know there's something that i think that is really interesting about about jackson's energy that yes he is an aries and he has the potential the energy the charisma the magnetism to seduce the crowd the fans with his soloist work but you know his moon in libra he's always thinking about you know the group 
he's always thinking about the others, you know. He, sometimes he feels like whenever he does something for himself or he is somehow praised individually or as an individual, he's like, oh, I appreciate it so much. But somehow at the end of the day, he feels empty, you know, and a bit guilty. He's like, oh, I wish I could do this with the guys. You know, he's definitely... Um, he 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 can be a great soloist and he is indeed uh, but i think that if you give him the chance to pick he would always go back to the group there's something about him and his emotional need that you know sometimes aries uh aries people um they get sometimes a lot of bad reputation because they they are very focused on their own desires so sometimes people uh, see Aries as very selfish or very self-centered and yes in a part they can be because actually they are very focused on the eye you know they are the eye of the zodiac you know they are the 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 representation of the self somehow so yes they they know exactly what they want as individuals but I think that for him to actually feel fulfilled emotionally and feel like he is happy, he needs a connection with others. You know, he needs the others. He needs his family. He needs his, his community. And I think that it, take, it, it takes a while for him to actually feel that void. You know, probably he does feel lonely from time to time. You know, and I think that it's it's really it's not actually it's not that he feels sorry for himself because actually he has the ten of cups here so there's a lot of celebration around him you know he has the fortune he is lucky enough to have opportunities and have reasons to celebrate but at the end of the day he's like oh i want to share this with my people you know, probably not just with the identity of him being part of the group, but also his identity in his community, you know, and his his own race, his own background, his family, you know, where he comes from. There's this feeling of, I want to work with my people because my people know me. I need my people. So I think that this is very interesting i think there's a lot of learn there's a lot of lessons for for jackson you know because i think that sometimes jackson because he is an aries of course you know he is an initiator so probably for him to actually go and do individual activities or individual releases and stuff he does it also to fight his frustration for a lot of things that didn't work for the group you know, so instead of being sitting around and waiting for someone to give him something to do, he's like, fine, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to find my own creativity and I'm going to create something and I'm going to publish it and everyone is going to see it and we're going to enjoy it and it's going to be fire. You know, there's this sense of like, okay, I'm not going to wait for some random person to give me something to do. I have my energy, I have my initiative, I have my passion, I can make anything work. I can make, uh, he's not a guy that you can have sitting around waiting. You know, he, he is very impulsive in this sense. But to be honest, I think that he enjoys, what he enjoys the most is what he does in a group, you know, or he he needs his people he needs his members you know he needs the other and this is a very interesting and a very because sometimes when we think about libra energy we are always thinking oh yes they need the others because they reflect their own value and self esteem on how the other perceives them but you know how hard it is to aries to to try to try to integrate uh, this Libra energy because Libra is opposite to to Aries because Aries it's all about the self it's all about what I want what I get out of this and I want it now 
And, and Libra is like these little voice inside of his head that is like, okay, yes, yes, I know we can do everything by ourselves. I know we can be independent. I know we can be great. And we wouldn't probably need anyone because we would do everything ourselves and we probably get the best results. But then there's this Libra voice that is like, oh, but you do need the others to watch or to observe or to acknowledge what you have created. It's like you need the other's approval. You need the others to, you need to celebrate your success with others. You cannot do it on your own, you know, because it's empty and it's meaningless, you know. And, and I think that this is very human of, of Jackson to be, and, and me to be able to see it, you know, in a tarot reading. I think that it's beautiful. And I think that uh, there's also this sense of, of, him probably also having to adapt to the idea of teamwork, you know, and, and, and also realizing that there are a lot of things that probably will not be the same, you know, that yes, the teamwork is there. Yes, the need to work, collaborate with others is there. But at the same time, there's also this sense of there's an era that is ending. You know, there's an era that is coming to an end and a new one is starting. So probably, yes, you will have the opportunity to work with the guys again and in different occasions and with different, uh, with two members, three members, the all the members together, you know. But you need to adapt that now the the Oh, how can I say this? The the word or the the meaning of group, you know, is now changing. Yes, you are a still a group, but you are a different kind of group because now is that you are not going to have the same routines that you had when you used to uh, work together now. Each one has their own particular uh, view about a desire about what they want to achieve individually or with others. So there's this level of, okay, uh, I know this member is over here doing his thing. I know the other one is over there doing their thing. So somehow to get everyone together, it, you're going to need different tactics, different a lot of planning, a lot of structure, a lot of like getting together and coming up with an idea, you know, that they definitely, after all these changes, they will still have the teamwork and the, and the responsibility and the, and the, and the, and the, the dynamic that they had always been represented by. But I think that he also needs to, to be patient and compassionate with himself and with others, you know, in the sense that each one of them now has a different schedule. And probably there are people that are in different locations. There are people that are working different times. So, you know, it will not be the same. There, there are opportunities to see each other or to hang out or to get together. It will be a bit more complex, but this doesn't mean that it will not happen. It means that that the concept of group now has ended and has become something else. You know, the teamwork will always be there because I'm sure that these guys will put the effort to see each other, to meet each other. But at the same time, you know, he has to adapt that or he has to understand that a period of time is over and now they are entering a new one and this is not to be sad but this is i think that this is something that he probably needs to stop a bit and be like oh i get it it's not the same like and and I don't mean it like it's not the same emotionally because they definitely feel the same way about each other. It's not about sentiment. It's not about emotions. It's about um, logistics more. It's about more about logistics because we have the three of 
of uh, Pentacles. That it's about teamwork and it's about uh, you know the the physical part of teamwork. So you know it has to do with physical presence. So, you know, for them to actually arrange, okay, like, let's meet, let's all be together today at this hour, you know, probably when they, a few years ago, for them to be in the same room, it was easier, like, they texting each other and be like, okay, I will be there in an hour, okay, I will be there in two hours, you know, like, they will definitely have to uh, adapt and at the same time come out with different strategies to meet and to be able to finish the work or the collaboration that they want to uh, achieve in the future. You know, probably doing a lot of Zoom meetings, a lot of, you know, like uh, virtual gatherings, you know, uh, but I think that there's something about that that he feels a bit nostalgic, you know, he's like, oh, okay, I get it. We are not the same people anymore and it isn't it's not about not being the same it's about you actually growing and like finding yourself in a different stage in your life and i think that this is slowly coming into jackson's realization that the group dynamics are changing because each of them are changing but of course, that the teamwork will always be there. The work will always be there. The love, the family, the family uh, sense, you know, the, the feeling of family, the feeling of union, you know, of I love you. I really, I want you to be part of my life. I want, I want to share every little awkward detail, detail about my mornings, about my life, about, you know, and I think that, he is someone that probably he he misses the members a lot you know probably he tries to act tough but probably he has you know his moments where he's a bit like heartbroken about you know like missing you know missing them he's he's very emotional he's a very emotional guy he's a very emotional guy but at the same time he is tough you know, I think he has, he, he's a guy that he, he, he can understand, he understands. This is why I think that this new stage that he is going to embark into is also about self-discovery. You know, it's also about, you. okay, now what do you want with your life? You know, what do you want? You know, like, like what do you want to do with you? You know, now the, the others are are with you, yes, you, you talk to each other, but yes, now somehow you are going to be faced a few moments where you're going to be on your own. And I think there's something about Jackson that probably he fears a bit to be on his own. I don't know Jackson that much, so if you are a fan of him, I would appreciate if maybe you can share a feedback with me or educate me a bit about his or your perceptions of him because actually I don't know much about him. I know he's hilarious and I know that he is very expressive and communicative, but maybe the fans, people that have followed him for years, know a bit about his uh, mannerisms or his, you know, uh, how he expresses himself or how he. But I think there's something about him. You know, realizing that, oh, there are going to be moments where I'm going to be on my own. And somehow his identity is so attached to the group that even though he is a soloist and he had been working like um, uh, for himself and individual projects, somehow there's a part of him that he's like, no, I want to go back to the group. I want to see the guys. You know, there's something like that very, very... Uh, present in his in his unconscious you know so probably he does feel a bit lonely you know or probably you know with all this cut seven transition he also had had to learn to differentiate who are your friends and who are not your friends because like I always I think I talked about this when I talked about God seven you know, they met a lot of people through these years, people from the industry, but I think that the only people that really know them and know what, what when they went through and know 
everything that happened with them is themselves. You know, the other, the other connections, the other um, uh, acquaintances, the other people around them, they, they are just, you know, just decorations. They are just decorations. They are not real friends. I think that the, the, the friendship and, and the level of intimacy, he has it with his, his, uh, his teammates. So I think that this is why he feels so attached to them. You know, sometimes he probably gets a bit annoyed that they cannot be all together in the same place. You know, he, he gets a bit like, oh, why cannot we see each other all, all of us together right now because I want us to all be together or something like that, you know. Uh, but I think that he he is also going to grow a lot, you know, he's also going to accomplish a lot. And I think that what it's important for Jackson to, to be proud of is that, yes, they are closing a chapter, but they are closing a chapter with a smile on their faces. Look at the card in the middle. The card in the middle is the Ten of Cups. That is the card of family, belonging celebrating with each other they went through a lot of obstacles and a lot of moments of a lot of nervousness and probably a lot of anxiety and pain and feeling like they couldn't take it anymore but they slowly are moving on from that and they are hugging each other and they are looking at each other in the face and they are like we made it all of us we didn't lose any of us we are here, the seven of us. We got out of this together and we will remain together. Only they know what they went through. You know, and, and I think that it's, for them it's important to say, here we are, the seven of us. Oh, I think that he, he can have his moments of feeling a bit emotional about this. But you know he's entering a new stage and it's going to be wonderful for him. He's going to be very recognized also by a lot of people that he admires. And I think that he's doing a great job individually as well. So he should celebrate himself more. That, you know, the days to, to actually like um, be with the guys and, and work together, they will be able to do it. They will be able to manage time zones, different locations, you know, they will make it happen. They will make it because they are hard working and they are responsible and they will do it and they will do it for the fans and for themselves as well. So, you know, there's nothing to be uh, nostalgic about because they are in a better place than they were before. So yes, guys, this is all I have for Jackson. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.